Hi ladies, it's Andrea. How are you all doing? I'm a nutritional therapist and, and I love to help and support women to get healthy hormones so they can look good and feel good inside and out. Um, I've also got a YouTube channel and a Facebook group as well if you're interested and want to come along and join. Um, today I want to talk about how long does it take to balance your hormones. And um, it's, it's a question I get asked quite a lot and it's not that easy to answer. Um, so I'm going to go over a few things today. Um, but yeah, I've got some new glasses. What do you think? I think they're a bit better. They're not quite as, the other ones are a lot darker. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought I'd, I'd, uh, I'd try out some new glasses tonight. Um, so yeah, let's dive in about your hormones. Because they do more than just control your periods and your sex life. And if you're going through a perimenopause right now, you're probably realizing that they control more than that um, with all the symptoms that you might be experiencing right now, um, which can be a bit unpleasant sometimes. Um, it's not really nice um, going through a perimenopause. It can be the, the most trickiest time. The time where a lot of symptoms appear and it can be a bit uncomfortable but there is so so much that you can do to help with that to help your body go through the decline um, leading up to menopause and it can take a long period of time up to about 10 years but every woman's different so you'll experience it in a different way but just know that you don't have to put up with the discomfort of some of the symptoms that you, may, you might be experiencing um, there is a lot that you can do. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I got a bit of an irritated throat this week, a, a horrible cough. So it's not um, to the, keep clearing my throat. I do apologise. Um, so yeah, so everyone's different and your hormones can go really, really wonky. Hi there, um, whoever's watching. And... Uh, so yeah, well, if you can get to grips with your hormone imbalance, um, then it's a massive game changer for you where you can get to grips with it and understand what's going on with your hormones. <clears throat> and every woman is different and every woman will need to put different strategies into place to help with that, the disdelicate balance. And if you're in the early stages of perimenopause, which can be any time over the age of 35, leading up to the age of 45 this is when you're going to still have regular periods you're not notice many differences in your periods during this time they'll still be regular every month so you'll still have the rise and fall of your hormones um, rather than the scatty um, up and down of the hormones as you get in the latter parts of uh, perimenopause into menopause when your periods will be all over the place and you probably start to experience a lot more symptoms during the second phase of perimenopause. So if your, ho your hormones need to be in flow, you need to work with the rhythm of your, of your body, with your cycle, you've got, got estrogen in the first part of the month and progesterone in the second part of the month, that's more dominant. So if you can work with your hormones instead of against them, be more in rhythm with your, with your flow, it can be a massive game changer. It can affect your symptoms in a massive way and you'll, you'll feel so much better as you go through the month. <clears throat> this is what I teach you in my 30-day hormone reset. How to get to grips with your issues, your symptoms, what strategies you can put in place to move forward. And this can affect how well you sleep, your energy levels, your mood, your brain health. Um, the way you feel before your period, you might be someone who's got extreme mood swings before your period, you feel really bloated, you feel horrible, you feel irritable. Um, so when you can be more in flow with your hormones and when you can get some strategies in place to help you cope with this phase, it can, it can really make a big difference and it can change your life in a big way. Um, so it can take about 30 at three months for your hormones to reset again. It's just an estimate. They usually say around that time to get your hormones reset again and to when you put the strategies in place because you can't just take just try something for 30 days or just do take a supplement or other things. You can't just do that and then expect results to be happen really quickly. 
it might not happen for you like that. You know, you might have a big healing journey that you need to go on first. There might be other things that you need to consider. Like I say, every woman is different. Every woman have different symptoms and different parts of, of what you need to do, whether you've, you've started to eat healthily, you've cutting out more processed foods, you're starting to get better sleep, you're cutting back on your alcohol, cutting back on sugary foods. That's great if you're doing all these things, that's absolutely amazing and well done to you for doing that. But sometimes you need to do a little bit more and this is where I can help and I can help to support you to delve deeply into what else you need to do um, and what specific to your needs because every woman will be different as to what specific needs that she'll need. And some women might only have slight symptoms and it could take, might just take three months, four months. You might see results in 30 days. You might see some results in two months just by putting a lot of strategies in place and changing lots of things in your life. And I like to work around diet, lifestyle, mindset and exercise to help you cope with a lot of um, irregularities with your hormones. Um, so it really is a specific thing for every woman to really get to grips with your issues, how long it could take, because your body's in charge. I can't say how long it's going to take to get your hormones in balance because your body's in charge of your healing, your body's in charge of, of what you need to get out of, of your way <clears throat> and your body. I like you, you've got peace puzzles. I like to call your symptoms like peace puzzles. And you're finding solutions to those peace puzzles that you need to fit into place in your body. For your body to start freeing up what could be, there could be congestion in your body, could be um, something in your GI tract that's not quite working right. There might be something, um, you might be to some glands, yet yeah, your thyroid and your adrenal glands are just not quite working right. Your liver might be a bit sluggish. You might have a lot of de toxins in your body. You might have some infections in your body that's preventing you from balancing your hormones out, from getting healthy, from feeling good inside and out. So this is where I can help you to do this, to help you get to grips with everything. Um, and then you can be more successful and get better results. And you can start seeing small but little changes every month. This is what I'm starting to see right now. I've put in place some strategies to get my health under control and I'm seeing small little positive steps along the way. You just keep making those little baby steps, moving forward, keep, keep doing it, keep being consistent, not giving up. Because <clears throat> when you think that you're going to get quick results, that's when you can just give up and say, it's not working, what's, what's the point? I might as well just finish and stop doing what I'm doing. But once you start seeing some little results, this is when you can start feeling a bit better. You, can't, you can start thinking, oh, great. I'm seeing a little bit of result. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm sleeping a bit better. My digestion's a bit better. You know, and you celebrate those wins. You think, wow, I've, I've just done that. I've, I've been going how many months? Or I've, I've been really consistent. I've been really great at what I'm following, strategies. And now I'm starting to see results for all my efforts, and it's absolutely amazing. So it's all about being patient with your body, <clears throat> not getting frustrated, not thinking it's an overnight fix, not thinking that you might have to do two months or three months. Like I say, it's an estimated, uh, estimated guide is that for your hormones to reset every three, every three months. It can take up to three months. Um, but that's just a guide for a lot of women, but it depends where you are on your health journey and how you've lived your life up to this point and what other strategies that you need to put into place. And I can help, that's where I can help and support you with that. So I've been going through perimenopause myself for the last 10 years and I have finally found the, the, the one missing puzzle that I've been, I've been trying to find this piece puzzle for a long time. And this is like the last piece puzzle for a lot of women's struggles. And, and I found it with regard to all the toxins that are in my body. My GI tract was just congested. So I'm taking steps to clear that now to help my body get, get healed again and feel so much better. And I've seen so many results already. And it's been just over a year now. So, and I know that I've still got a bit, a bit to go on my healing journey. So I'm, I'm trying to be patient with myself. And, and it can be hard sometimes, you know, you have bad days and good days, but you can do that. You can do this. You can be your own cheerleader. I can be your cheerleader. 
once you get to grips with what's going on in your body, how perimenopause works, what is controlling your symptoms, then you can think, oh, yeah, this is what I've been doing wrong. This is what I need to do. And it's just a massive game changer. It's going to change your life completely. Like I was speaking to a lady the other day, and she was suffering so much, and she didn't realize what simple things that she could do just to change things around. And, and, and it can just absolutely change your life. Like I say, hormones control everything in your body, sleep, your mood, your digestion, um, your, your metabolism, how you, how you um, metabolize toxins in your body, uh, your brain health, how you think. Your hormones are just a massive, massive part in your health. And your min then it comes down to mineral imbalances and nutrition deficiencies. It could be something just as simple as that and just making a few simple changes to what you're doing right now. If you start putting some healthy eating practices in place, then you might just need that extra help and that an extra pair of eyes to look on, at, at, at that and to try and to figure it out. Because um, it can take a long time to try and figure out what's going on in your body because your body can be quite complex. Your hormones can be quite complex and delicate. And when this balance just gets out of whack, there's, sometimes you don't need to do so much to get them back under control again. So my 30-day reset, I've put it together for you. If you want to check it out, I'm going to put the link below. If you want to set up a call with me to have a chat and get to know me a lot better, then please set up a chat with me, it's a free call, just to have a chat, get to know me, get to know what your symptoms are, what you're struggling with, and just to give you a bit of peace of mind and give you my insight as to how I can help you further. Um, I've also got a four day free meal plan that you can download so you can get used to eating for, for your health and, and see if you like the recipes. I'd love to know how you're getting on with the recipes, whoever's downloaded my, my four day meal plan. Let me know how you're liking them. Um, I'd love to get some feedback. And there's a lot more recipes in my home on Reset. But I've just put a, a quick four-day guide together for you as a freebie just to set you off on your path to get eating healthily, get used to eating more healthily. Because um, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated either. Um, so thanks for watching today. I hope it's helped you out. Let me know. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or wherever you are in the world. And don't forget, you're a woman that deserves to look good and feel good inside and out. Um, so thanks for watching and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you again in another video. See you later.